Alert tonight, a federal judge throwing out Englewood's rules for where sex offenders can live, calling the rules unconstitutional. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live at 10 tonight. And Jacqueline, now other cities will have to reexamine their rules. That's right, and this map presented at trial shows the problem. This is Inglewood. The red circles you can see here are the buffer zones around schools, parks, and playgrounds. The blue circles are the 1,000 bu buffer zones around rec centers and daycares. They pretty much cover the entire city except for just a few little white blocks here and there. And a federal judge says you just can't do that. In the city of Inglewood, we found this is one of the few blocks where sex offenders can legally live. It's scary. And Kim Steed, worried about her daughter's safety, thinks even that's too much. I'm not really sure where they should go, but I definitely don't want them to be here. That knee-jerk reaction is the same Inglewood City Council had in 2006 when it passed an ordinance drastically restricting sex offender residency. This map from the ACLU shows in blue where sex offenders are not allowed to live in Inglewood. In green, the few areas where they can. 99% of the city was off limits according to this ordinance. Yesterday, a federal judge ruled that's unconstitutional, stating it could create a domino effect. City after city saying, not in my backyard, until sex offenders are banned from the entire state. A major concern, sex offenders could go underground and not register at all, giving people a false sense of security. Now what we want to do is make sure our children are safe. Inglewood's mayor says the council will meet with the city's legal department Monday, and they're not alone. We checked. Cities across the Front Range have similar ordinances, from Greeley to Greenwood Village, all scrambling to figure out what they need to do now. Ours is not to tell them where to live, ours is to tell them where they can't live. Um, but is it fair if they can't live basically anywhere in the whole city? Uh, no, it probably isn't. But and this ruling came today after Brett Riles, a sex offender who bought a house here in Inglewood, was actually told he could not live here anywhere and he was charged with a crime. I spoke to him today. He did not want to talk to us about this story and referred us to the ACLU. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.